Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite stocks in the genetic space, and that, of course, is CRISPR Therapeutics. Just before we get into the video, guys, if you could take a quick second to drop a like on this video, that would be very much appreciated. We've had some great support in the channel in the last month or two, um, so I really do appreciate that, and let's keep it going. So as of recently, I've been focusing a good bit on industries that I think will have a lot of potential in the coming years, and the genetic space seems to be at the forefront of that. Next, of course, the EV space, which I'm quite heavily invested in. But when we're trying to think of disruptive technologies and industries where there'll be a massive change in the future, the healthcare system is definitely one that could do with some change. And that's when I came across the whole concept of gene editing. And if we're talking about gene editing, CRISPR therapeutics is never far from the conversation. So CRISPR are currently top of the game when it comes to gene editing with their Cas9 technologies. This gene editing technology and the Cas9 technology in particular from CRISPR really has the potential to revolutionize the healthcare industry and in particular how we treat disease. Now while we are still in the very early stages of the gene editing technology space, I think this sector has some massive potential for growth even in the next 3-5 to five years and most definitely beyond that. So let's see how the CRISPR technology works. I'm going to be having some b-roll playing in the background here and I'm going to leave the link to the full video of this down in the description. I would highly highly recommend watching it, it is only a couple of minutes long and it will really blow your mind. Even if you're not interested in investing in genomics right now, I think maybe watch that video and it might even change your mind. So essentially the way the CRISPR Cas9 technology works is it attaches itself to a strand of DNA, it will identify the gene that it wants to target and then it will make a cut. And when it makes a cut in the sequence of DNA, it will essentially disable that gene. Now of course that is a very high level summary of how this technology works, but it is really, really interesting. Scientists have also developed this technology to not only cut the strands of DNA, but they can also now target this DNA and mutate these genes to make them not harmful anymore. CRISPR is currently focusing on single gene disease right now, such as sickle cell anemia for example. But the big money maker here, and what I think will have the biggest impact on the healthcare system, is their cancer treatment. And if CRISPR find a great deal of success here, it will be absolutely game changing. They have had some success so far using their technology to treat cancer. So far it's only been in the form of reducing the tumor sizes, but they are investing heavily into this area and I think they'll be definitely at the forefront of cancer treatment using this technology in the coming years. So I know I mentioned over the next three to five years, I think this will be a massive industry, but even now we're seeing a lot of growth. Over the last six months, for example, CRISPR stock has returned over 54%, which is pretty great returns. Throughout this time, CRISPR stock soared as high as $210 per share, but with the recent flash crash it's retreated down to about the $130 level. Now we are about to see some more volatility with this stock and especially the whole genomic space but many analysts are predicting CRISPR stock to reach $210 in the next 12 months and that would represent about a 60% upside from where the stock price is currently. But for me I'm not too concerned about the short term as I said this is a really long term play for me and it's one that I keep on to building my position on whenever I get the chance especially when some dips come. CRISPR Therapeutics is also a very big holding for Cathy Wood's ARK Invest and they focus mainly on kind of disruptive technologies so I think we're in good hands here investing in this stock. So let's jump over to my portfolio now and I will show you my genetics pie that I have on Trading212 which essentially is like a small little ETF of some of the big players that I think will have some success in the genomic space over the next months and years. Okay, so I've pulled up my portfolio here and we'll just go into the genetics fund. You can see I only have about 900, about a thousand euro in here right now. And that's because I only set this up, this pie, I would think, definitely in the last month or so. And I haven't really been focusing my investing on it. I just wanted to establish a position in some of these while I did some more research. And then my plan going forward is to just keep adding to this periodically every time I invest. Now, as I mentioned, I do expect there to be quite a bit of volatility in the genomic space over the next number of months and years. So I'm not going all in on this right now. I'm just kind of adding to this position as I go. I'm still more bullish on the EV space. and I think that will see some quicker growth in the short term. But this is a more of a long term position play that I'm building out. I want to share with you guys. So let's go to our holdings here and we can see what we have here. So we have CRISPR Therapeutics up about 18%. That is the highest percentage in this pie right now. You can see it's currently down 12% from when I bought it, but I don't mind. It's only small amounts of money really at the minute. Um, and as I said, I'm not too concerned about the short term. I'm more investing for that long term outcome. I've got a nice mix of some other biosciences companies here as well, such as Twist and Arcturus, and as well as Pacific Biosciences. These are all ones that I recommend looking into, and I think will have some very big returns in the next few years in this space. 
A stock you guys should definitely look into as well is Teladoc right here. It's uh, not really on the genomic side of the things, but I think it will be a very good player in the healthcare industry and a disruptive stock in the healthcare industry. Essentially what they do is they allow video consultations with patients and doctors and even prescriptions and all that process without ever having to actually go into the doctor's office. And that stock, especially in recent times, has seen some very big growth with the unfortunate circumstances that surrounded, of course, the pandemic over the past year. But guys, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below to that genetics pie there so you can have more of a look at it there and the kind of breakdowns that I put each stock at. The pie that I have there was heavily influenced by ARK's genetics pie. I'll also leave a link down to that in the description that you guys can check that out. And ARK have a lot of good research over there into the whole genetic space as well. So guys, to sum up, when it comes to the gene editing space, I think CRISPR will really be at the forefront of the innovation there and are going to be one of the top winners in the whole genomic space. For me, it's not about the short term with this stock. It's about adding into this stock whenever I see some dips and some good opportunities because I think the upside will be very, very big when this industry starts to take off a bit more in the next few years. Again, I'll leave the link down in the description below to that video where it basically goes over the CRISPR and gene editing technology. I think it's a really great watch and uh, definitely mind-blowing the first time I watched it. If you could take a second and you haven't already, if you could drop a like on this video, it'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you guys in another video.